Today I'm going to share with you the most important rule a photographer must know when it comes to modifying and controlling the quality of light. I'm Lindsay Adler and I'm a portrait and fashion photographer based in New York. And when I was planning this video, it felt kind of audacious for me to call something the most important lighting rule. Understanding lighting is a combination of rules of science and implementation of artistic influences. And in fact, I actually did an in-depth course called Master Studio Lighting filled with these different rules and techniques. All of that being said, I've thought about it long and hard and I'd like to share what I consider to be the most important rule of lighting when it comes to modifying or changing your light. So. Here it is. Say it, repeat it, memorize it, use it. The larger the light source is relative to the subject, the softer the light. And conversely, the smaller the light source is relative to the subject, the harder the light. In other words, if you want softer light, there are two things you can do. You can bring your light closer, making it relatively bigger, or you can switch to a larger modifier or both. Now, of course, the opposite is also true. If you want a harder light source, simply move the light further from the subject, making it relatively smaller, or switch to a smaller modifier. Let's take a look at this concept as it relates to the sun. The sun is huge, bigger than most of us can even imagine, but because it is so far away, it is relatively small in the sky. It's just a point source of light. And this makes the sun very, very hard. But now, pop open a diffuser close to your subject, and when the sun hits that diffuser, in effect, it becomes the size of the diffuser. Now compare that size to the subject and it's quite large and look how much softer the light has become. Now, by the way, let me explain the differences between soft and hard light. With soft light, when you look at the shadow transitions, like the shadow cast by the nose, you see a subtle gradient from shadow to highlight. When you switch over to a hard light, that transition is abrupt, creates very crisp shadow edge. So knowing these differences and knowing this rule, let's take our rule into the studio. So let's say that you wanna create a softer light and all you have is a three foot octobox. What can you do? You can move that Octobox closer to your subject, making it relatively larger and therefore softer. But let's say for some reason you don't wanna move your light source, but you still want the light to be softer. What are your options? Well, you can try switching over to, let's say a five foot Octobox. This larger modifier makes the light relatively larger and therefore softer. And if you switch to a five foot octa and move it closer, the light is softer even still. The opposite of this rule is also true when it comes to hard light. So let's say I'm creating an image with a subject shadow on the background. I wanna do an interesting shape, or maybe I want the light to look harder, more like sunlight. What can I do to make that light as hard as possible. Well, first, I can use a smaller modifier like a zoom reflector or a bare head. What are my other options? I can back the light up as far away as I can in the studio space. All of these things make the light harder and switching to a speed light because the light source is smaller would make even harder light. So, what do you think? seems like an important rule, perhaps the most important rule. The more you work with light, the more you're going to realize just how powerful it is. Because suddenly now when you change the distance of your light or you switch modifiers, you're going to understand exactly the effect it's going to have on the quality of light. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like and subscribe. But if you'd like to understand more about lighting, check out my in-depth course, Master Studio Lighting. See you next time.